Hello everyone, welcome to Hardware Centric. Today we are here with a common problem which is that your Wi-Fi connection is working but your Ethernet connection is not working. Which is really frustrating because Wi-Fi connection, it is quite unstable because the connection almost drops and gets up and it affects your network while you're gaming. So we need Ethernet to get stable connection without the connection dropping. So today we're going to show you if your Wi-Fi is working but Ethernet not working then what should you do? First problem could be that your computer has virus. If your computer has virus, what should you do? First, you're gonna have to go to Windows settings by pressing Windows plus I button. And then we are going to go to update and security. After going to update and security, wait a moment and let it load. And then click on Windows security. And then virus and threat protection. After going to virus and threat protection, you should click on scan options. And the best option here is Microsoft Defender Offline Scan. And while doing this scan, your computer will turn off and the Microsoft Defender will perform scan while the computer is offline. So this is the most uh, strong method here. But if I do that, my computer will restart and the video will stop. So you guys go ahead and click on scan now after selecting Microsoft Defender Online Scan, then scan now. All right, now then moving to method two. Method two is that your ethernet driver is probably not working. So how would you know that your Ethernet driver is not working? Right click on start now and then find device manager and go ahead, click it. After device manager loads up, you're gonna have to find network adapters. As you can see, we have network adapters here and this is the Ethernet connection. So click on it and select update driver and then search automatically for driver and make sure your Wi-Fi connection is okay, right? Because we already discussed that our Wi-Fi is working and if Wi-Fi connection is okay, then Microsoft Windows will search for the driver automatically and it will inform you that the driver is up to date or the latest driver is installed, something like that. So after that, your Ethernet driver should be fixed. Now there can be another problem, which is that your Ethernet connection has been disabled somehow. Well, to check your Ethernet connection is disabled or not, right click on your Wi-Fi setting, open network and internet setting. And then we are going to select change adapter options. After going to change adapter options, here is our Ethernet. We have two Ethernets actually, so we are gonna go to Ethernet 1 because Ethernet 2 is usually for VPNs. So we are gonna go to Ethernet and then if your Ethernet is disabled somehow, like, like you have disabled it, you forgot, or someone else used your computer and disabled it. So if it's disabled like this, then your Ethernet will not work even if you plug it in. So make sure to right click on it and then click enable. After that, your Ethernet connection will be enabled. But also make sure that your cable and pins are working perfectly. First, you have to change the pins on your cable change both side pins and the connection and if the connection is still not working then you should try changing the cables and if your connection is not coming from another router if it's coming directly from your isp then you'll have to insert your isp information in your network settings in that case you will need your network information like username and password etc and if these are not the problem and your problem still remains, then the problem could be in your hardware. Maybe your computer's ethernet port is faulty or maybe your router's ethernet port is faulty. Consider using different router or checking the cable in different computer will ensure you that your computer's port or router's port is okay or not. So guys, if you do found these methods helpful and your problem was solved, then please do leave a thumbs up for our video. And if your problem still remains, then please let us do know down below in the comment section. And subscribe to our channel for more great fixes like these. Until we meet again next time, goodbye and take care.